2004, it started by having pain and becoming slow, but I have also arthrosis, and I thought it was that problem, but all cure they gave me didn't help, and it went further on. And uh, in 2008, I had the feeling of a frozen shoulder, and I uh, couldn't uh, write anymore uh, visible. So there were complaints some in my job that I couldn't write what I t uh, took from notes. And then I went with my handwriting to my uh, phys physician, and then he thought about Parkinson and he sent me to the neurologist. And when I went by the neurologist, he immediately saw that I had Parkinson. By coming in from the waiting room to his cabinet, he said, I know where, what, where you, what you are coming for. And five minutes later, I got the diagnosis of Parkinson. And then I had uh, the scans afterwards to, con to confirm the diagnosis, but it was really the that disease. I had a bad feeling about it because my mum was in a nursing home, uh, people with Alzheimer and Parkinson together. So people with Parkinson in the last phase of their, li of their life. And that was the only view I had of Parkinson that, in that moment. So it was really, my world was collapsing. Um, and uh, when I, people, I tell people now about it, I always say I could um, review my, 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 my idea about Parkinson that I have still alive in a positive way. So that's a, that's a good thing uh, of experience and of the uh, connection with other patients now.